A huge night at a great stadium. We're here at the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. It's Inter, and they face Venezia. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. The Inter starting lineup. Well, as you can see, they're playing with a front two, three central midfield players, and a couple of wing backs. It's a great system when played well, but it does leave them vulnerable to switches of play. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, as you can see, they are very narrow in the attacking areas. So they have to be really clever with their combination play. But watch out for the fullbacks. They love to get forward to provide the width. And the match is underway. <laughs> Domen Chernigoy. Ampazu. Now he must favour the cross. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Alessandro Bastoni. Well, you know, wherever he's gone in his long career, Edin Dzeko has always been a prolific goal scorer, Stuart. What do you expect to see from him today? And the keeper showing tremendous command. Short corner it is. D'Ambrosio. And this is Brozovic. chance but the goalkeeper comes through yes Derek we have to give credit to the keeper but surely he should have scored there that's a big big chance it's a short one the cut back can they get in behind them well it didn't happen for them in attack Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? And he read it well. Dzeko. Good-looking ball. There could be a chance now. And with that, they thwarted the opportunity.
Barella. And it's Alexis Sanchez threatening now. As teammates, he can play it too. A goal on the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. But the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. And back playing here with Inter, the team holding the advantage. Domen Chernigoy. The ball with Mikael Cuisance. Terrific block. Not a pass that lacks quality. Alessandro Bastoni. Ivan Perisic. Great effort to keep that one in play. We're getting the ball forward. Alexis Sanchez. He has time to play it over. Ethan Ampadu. Domen Chernigoy. And intercepted it. Well, on the verge of hearing the half-time whistle and Inter in front. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going in at half-time if it stays like this. Chernigoy. On to Caldara. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Just straying offside. And that was a very fine read. Dzeko. Brozovic. Cuts it back. Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. Given away again. Damian. Crossing possibilities. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. An effective challenge. Must be! And denied by the keeper. Impressive. A well, foul play, says the referee. Can they extend their lead? And the spot kick is converted as calmly as you like. Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong.
the first half here comes to an end. What a really superb driven performance by Edin Dzeko here, Stuart. Well, I think he's been outstanding so far. He's looked a constant threat and he scored a very good goal. What a player he is. So into the second half, and it was a sublime performance by Inter in the first half of this game. Cuisance. Chernigoy. Kiyin. And can they make one of these passes count? Offside by a fraction. Ambrosio Chalanolu well, Possession is the watchword inside their own territory Alexis Sanchez Varela Is it going to be Alexis Sanchez? Well, negligent in front of goal No two ways about that Cuisance. Chernigoy. Thomas Henry. Now let's see what they can do here. And played in. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Alexis Sanchez. Chalanolu. Now Dzeko. Matteo Damian. Perisic. And he takes it on. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. Managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. And over it comes. Not all that convincing defensively. Correa. And here's Brozovic. Able to get a body in the way. And a throw in forthcoming. Well, couldn't keep it. Well, Inter have certainly controlled the flow of the game. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Plenty of options. Inside he goes. Brozovic. Martinez. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Martinez. Brozovic, body in the way. Possession given away, unfortunately. Martinez. 
Perisic. But really sticking to the task defensively. Cuisance. Caldara. The ball with Mikel Cuisance. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Delivering it into the box. Not away completely. On a time for composure on the ball. Ten minutes to go then. Matteo Damian. And the pass could do damage. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. And possibilities here. Barella. Martinez. And this is Brozovic. And a body in the way. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Here it is now, a substitution. To finish it as a contest. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. Short corner favoured. It's a perfect challenge. Antonio Vaca. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Lost possession. Skriniar. So the final whistle, the referee says that will be all for this game. And the big headline is Inter victorious. What did you think of their performance, all told? Yes, Derek, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park for the most part. And going forward, there were some really nice, incisive plays as well. Good result for them. Well, a really superb driven performance by Edin Dzeko here, Stuart. Yeah, I think the only thing you could question, could he have been a touch more clinical in front of goal? Maybe should have had two or three today. Regardless of that, it was a good performance and a great result.